Hi everyone, it's Gwen from Rustic Diva Design and I'm here with you to show you another tutorial making a 6x6 six six mini album um, which is the perfect size to use a 6x6 six six paper pad um, and this album um, we're making today is using scraps that I still have left from my Echo Park Welcome Baby Boy paper collection. I have um, some of the 6x6 six six paper left and I also have some of the 12x12 12 12 and the cut aparts. So I do have a tutorial um, using this same paper. It was a five page album um, with some different elements in it. This one is going to be a 6x6 six six album with four double sided pages this time um, with a two inch spine. So I'll get into that in a second here but basically some of the design elements are going to be the same as the other one but I'm going to show you um, an easy way to put together a 6x6 six six album um, using this method very easily and quickly and possibly just using up some scraps that you have so let's get started with that um, first off I have the cover already made and this is the lay flat cover method that Tamara from Country Craft Creations has designed. Um, so I already made the cover. I'm not going to do the tutorial on the cover because it's already out there for you to find. Um, so I just put this together quick. So again, this is the lay flat cover. Regardless of how you wrap your uh, chipboard for your covers, um, the sizes of your um, chipboard are gonna be the same no matter what size, or I'm sorry, no matter what method you're using to wrap with um, solid cardstock. So I'll give you the dimensions for the cover and the spine. So the cover is, um, you're gonna need two pieces of chipboard that measure six by six and one piece for the spine that measures two inches by six inches. And then we are going to make all of our pages the same size um, and the same style. Okay, so this is gonna be super simple um, to put together and good for beginners. If you're just starting out, give this method a try that we're gonna show, um, go through here quick. So. Whatever color um, cardstock you're using or whatever color you want for your pages, you need four pieces of solid cardstock that measure five and a half by eight. And then on the eight inch side, and I'll show you this on a scoreboard, we're gonna score at one half and at six, okay? So that's what you need first. So let me just get this out of the way for a second. Here, I'll just set it off to the side, grab the scoreboard quickly. So here's our, this is what your page is gonna look like when you cut it. Okay, and all the pages are gonna be the same. Cut at five and a half by eight, and you're gonna put it in your scoreboard with the eight inch side at the top and you're gonna score it at one half and at six, okay? And these are gonna be your pages. Now this extra one half inch here on the left-hand side is going to be your hinge. This is going to glue down to your spine. There's no hinge mechanism in this album that you have to attach pages to. This portion of your page is just gonna glue directly down onto the spine and I've showed you that um, in my other album, but I'll show you this again once we get through that. So let's get started. Um, we're gonna start with the cover, the front cover of our album, which is this side here, and I'm gonna leave the scoreboard up for just a second. And this um, page is made the same way as I made the other um, pages in my other album that's um, 
on YouTube already. So there's another Baby Boy album. You'll be able to find it easily. You'll see from the cover, the thumbnail, um, what that's all about. So inside the front cover, we're gonna make a flap and we're going to mat it on both sides and we're also gonna add a magnet. So to get started with the flap, and I'm sorry, I don't have those um, dimensions written for you to show you, but I'll just tell you what the dimensions are. So you're gonna need a piece of solid cardstock for the flap that measures four and three quarters by five and seven eighths, and we're gonna score it at a half an inch on the left-hand side, and we're gonna make our flap that way. And the flap is gonna attach to our cover like this. So that's the first step that you need to do for the cover. So um, let's get this out of the way for now and get started. So we're making our flap. And as you can see, I have an X here. Oh, can you see that? There's a little X there. That means put a magnet down. And I also marked an X on my paper. So we're going to score at our half inch score line and then um, miter your corners just a little bit here. And then this is gonna glue down on our cover right to the edge. So center top to bottom and right to the edge. So let me grab my glue here. And we're gonna glue this down. Oh, is the glue gonna cooperate this time? Yes. Okay. So right to the edge of your cover. And I'm just eyeballing top to bottom. And um, side to side here. Let me just pull this a second so I can see where we're at. I gotta lift this up just for a second here to put this on. And then down here, and there we go. There we are, I'll just burnish it. We have a little glue poking out on the side. That's okay. Use your fingernail and it's gone. Okay, and then to mat your flap, we have, um, I have done, uh, again, I've done all double matting here, plus I've added the tabs, which I've gone through that whole process before in my other tutorial, so if you wanna check that out. So I'm using a cut apart from the collection. Um, but the, the white mat for the flap measures four and one eighth by five and three quarters. And then whatever you're matting this with is going to measure four by five and five eighths. Okay. So that's gonna go on the front like the so, and then we have another mat for the back with the same measurements. So then um, if you're going to add a tab, I always add that first before I mat it down to my flap. So here we go. And then to be able to see better, let's just put this underneath this white. So when we're gluing this down, it's easier to see. And I'm gonna do that a little bit like that. So, so then let's just get this matted. Be, just watch where your glue goes if you're adding a tab so that you don't go over your where it's gonna um, stick out from your page I've also inked my um, papers with the Tim Holtz um, distress ink in black soot. I chose that color to use with this paper collection. 
So, and you don't have to ink your edges. I just like to do that. And again, I'm gonna apologize for my wiggly table. Um, if you've just joined my channel, and this is the first video you're watching, um, I'll just say, this isn't my normal craft area. I usually craft at my dining room table. And this is just the area where I video everything. So sorry again for the wiggles. Okay, so now, before we lay this inside mat down on our flap, we have to ha add our magnet. So it's gonna be here and here. So let me just grab those. And you know me, again, if you've watched my tutorials, I usually struggle getting this um, sticky backing off these uh, magnets, which ends up making my videos so dang long. Oh my goodness, but look, hey, here we go. So we're just taking the backing off and we're leaving enough room on this uh, flap here so that it it's not gonna hinder when you um, put your pattern paper down. So I'm gonna go, because we're gonna add a pocket here, I don't want it to be, um, the magnet on this part, to be inside that pocket, so I'm gonna make it so that it's like around this area here, which is totally fine. So just press that down. And then we're gonna just close this, let it close naturally, and then push down here. And there's your magnet. Now usually I would put score tape across my magnet here, but I forgot to bring my score tape with me to the video area, so we're gonna skip that part. So if you want to just put a little score tape on yours, you go ahead. If you don't want to, that's just fine too. So let's just glue this down. This is the back, uh, the mat for the back of our flap. And just um, centering that here. Not to get into your um, crease or your score line where your flap is gonna fold. And the magnet is right there, so I'm not gonna burnish in that area, really. And there you go. So we have our flap done. The first part of your album is the flap, perfect. Now, we're gonna mat um, the inside front cover, and with those, we need, oh, I'm sorry, I hid it from myself. Um, we need a mat for the, the cover, and we're also gonna make a pocket, okay? And I've matted everything already, so I'll just give you the measurements. So the mat for the inside cover the white mat is four and a half by five and seven eighths. And then the pattern paper is four and three eighths by five and three fourths. Um, so that's gonna go like this. And the pocket is gonna go like so. And I'll tell you what that's gonna look like here. And then we have a mat for our pocket. So we can go ahead and mat the cover. So um, I'm trying to get better, you guys, at being faster with tutorials. Not so fast that you can't follow along, but not to dilly-dally so much and, you know, so you can get the whole idea, unless you're following along with me. So we're just, again, centering from left to right and just leaving a little bit of an edge at the top of your album here. Okay, and making sure we're not on our fold 
here on the edge and then just press that down. There we go. Now to make the pocket, you need a salt piece of solid cardstock that measures two and a half by six and seven eighths. And then you're gonna, on the six, well, whatever, you're gonna score it on three sides. So you're gonna put it in your scoreboard, score it a half an inch, turn it, score it a half an inch, turn it one more time, score it a half an inch. And then I've already mitered the corners. Um, so all we need to do now is fold our pocket in camera, get in the camera, fold on those score lines. And again. So then we're gonna piece this together. You know, there I've seen videos where people do pockets all um, different ways. I don't think there's really a wrong way to make your pockets as long as they're fitting and you're making, you know, this that has this little gusset here and it works for you. However you want to, you know, miter and trim and however, however it works for you. So I've done it this way. I did it a different way at one time. I'm not, I don't know. I just try it. I'm like, oh, maybe this way will work better. I'm not sure. So anyway. Usually I have a little bit more here to glue down so that these two stick together. I didn't get that this time because I cut too close um, to my corner, which that's okay, you guys. It's gonna work. It's gonna work. So before we glue this down, let's dry fit because I like to dry fit and make sure it's gonna fit where we want it, and look at that. It's right in between our um, spine and the flap here, and it's not overlapping anything. So, and if it did, we could just fold this one side in a little bit extra and make it work. So let's just glue this pocket down. I'm gluing off camera, like usual. But you know, adding the glue is the boring part, I always think. So then just lining this up with the bottom and the two sides, getting it right where I want it, bring it down just a smidge, and there we go. Now, um, what I've said in the past is that because, you know, when you add pockets to your page, um, if you notice our pattern paper doesn't go all the way down to the bottom of our cover, that's because we don't have to, and we can save our pattern paper. So we don't have to use a whole sheet, you know, the whole size of the cover to cover it up because our pockets right here, you're not gonna see that anyway. So that's the beauty of it. Get more scraps and make your paper last longer and stretch farther. So again, I'm using scraps and I'm just using pieces from the cut apart sheets, little border strips and whatever I can find to make things work. So that's what I have here. Um, so the pocket mat is, the white mat is one and seven eighths by five and three fourths. And then pattern paper on the front is one and three fourths by five and five eighths. So it's just gonna mat like this. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that's gonna work. So just let's glue that down. burnish so it sticks well and there you go so your front cover is fit inside front cover is finished with your little flap and now that your pockets on you can see that 
it's going to, you just need to give it a little, but the magnet is still going to catch there. So you're good to go. So there's the front cover, inside front cover. Okay, now we can move on to our first page, which is page one. Now again, I said there's only four pages, but they're four double-sided pages. So I'm going to refer to page one, and then when we flip it over, that's going to be page two, okay? And so on and so on. So our first page, again, all pages are the same size. A piece of solid cardstock, five and one half by eight, score at one half and at six. And then this page, I decided to fold in this way to make a pocket. So I'm gonna leave this here at the moment. I'm gonna move our cover out of the way because we don't need this right now. So I'm just gonna set that off to the side and we're gonna work on our pages. So page one is, here's our piece of solid cardstock, which is the blue. And then I've gone ahead and matted some of the things already. So again, we are folding on the uh, half inch score line. And then I folded this piece in this way to the front. And that's gonna make our pocket. So all we have to do is mat now. So the white mat for page one is going to be four and an eighth by five, five and three eighths four and one eighth by five and three eighths. And then the pattern paper for that mat is four by five and a quarter, okay? So, and then this is your hinge, remember, and if it's in your way while you're working or this, you know, other fold is in your way, just open it up. So remember now, this is our pocket side. So this mat is going to be matted on page one towards the left-hand side of your paper because we're making a pocket and we're covering this up, okay? So you wanna lay your mat down first, and again, I'm using cut-aparts as mats because I had some left, and if you watch my other video, um, you've seen me do that before, so I won't go into that again um, because I do all of that detail in the first album little uh, baby boy album that I made. So now we're just gluing our first page mat. This is for page one. And, oops, see, this is getting in my way. Can you see? Yes. And we're just, we're not putting it directly on the score line, just next to it. And again, centering top to bottom, because this is our hinge. And we're gluing that down. Okay. Okay. Now that we have that on, we can glue our pocket down. And we're only we only have to glue it on two sides, which is super easy. So add your glue on this side and on this side. And that is not a mistake. That is the underneath the mat for the next part when we flip to page two. That scared me for a second too. If you saw that, it's like, oh, oh, we're off, but we're not off. Okay, and again, because you are working with, you know, you're you're working with matted paper, you know, double layers of paper, so you just might have to give your pockets a little pinch. Um, once you get your glue on so that it grabs in between where your um, mats are, you know, where you can't really get in with your bone folder to glue that down well. So pinch it, just give it a good pinch. Okay, and then, so here's what your page one is looking like again. Here is the template, and here are the dimensions for the pocket. Your pocket white mat is one and, sorry, 
I moved one and seven eighths by five and three eighths, and the pattern paper is one and three fourths by five and one fourth. Okay, so we're just gonna mat this pocket, making sure that it's going the way I want it to go, and I want it to go this way. So let's put this on here. A little crazy with my glue. Uh -huh. And then just centering that nicely, top to bottom, left to right. Push this up a little bit. And there we go. Again, um, you know, I'm using scraps. A lot of these pieces were like already cut almost to exactly what I needed them for. So that was nice. And I'm just putting all these little things together. And the nice thing about these paper collections, if you've noticed, you know, everything goes together. It works. It all works. So we can do that. Okay. Page one is complete. Now we're going... This is page one. We're just flipping this over and going to page two so that we just have one plain um, page that we're gonna work with, okay? And I, whoop, I'm missing some. Here we are. There we go. So page two, we are going to have a, a mat and the pattern paper like this. So the white mat is five and three eighths by five and three eighths. And the pattern paper is five and a quarter by five and a quarter. And then we're gonna add a belly band, okay? So we can mat this first, which is super simple. So we're gonna put this down gluing here if I um, say something wrong or do the wrong, you know I'm not my brain isn't keeping up with my mouth <laughs> you can comment say Gwen what does that mean what did you did you mean this I probably did because one time I said that I when I was adding a ribbon I remember this now. I, when I was adding ribbon to one of my albums in a tutorial or something, I said um, that, you know, when you add your ribbon, you use score tape, and then on top of your ribbon, you use another piece of tape, and I meant to say scotch tape, you know, clear tape, and I said masking tape, and I caught it after I had already had the video all recorded and I was like oh whoopsie not masking tape hopefully everybody knows I meant clear tape so stuff like that happens which is minor okay so let's make the belly band so it's going our belly band is going to go in the middle of our page just like that and here's the dimensions so you need a piece of solid cardstock for the belly band that measures one and one half by six and three eighths. And then you're gonna score at one half on both ends. So you're gonna have your belly band like this. And on this end, a half an inch, and the other end, a half an inch. And then I like to miter the corners here, okay? So let's get that done. Just fold on those score lines. And our belly band is going to be, um, I made mine the length of where it's going to end up at the edge of the, our white mat on our page. So that's going to be the edge of your belly band here. And again, I eyeball, if you want to measure um, in between 
you know that what the middle of your page is you can I don't and now I'm just adding glue to these little tabs that we made and we're just gonna glue this on so watch me now as I try to get this in the center pretty close sorry if I get my head in the camera okay and that looks pretty good okay there's our belly band and then the mat for the belly band the white mat is one and three eighths by five and a quarter and the pattern paper is one and a quarter by five and one eighth and it's just going to go like this on our belly band okay so we'll glue that down and again just you know centering on your belly band left to right top to bottom and once you get it where you like it glue it down Um, I was going to make my tag for the belly band that I, that's in my other album, and I forgot to do it before I got with the, got going with the tutorial. So, but you know, this is gonna well, not that piece, but anyway, something's gonna fit in there. Um, you know, photo mats or tags or whatever you want to make to slip in in with the belly band. Okay, so we have page one and page two of our album already completed. Now, if you are like me, or if you're trying to um, mirror, I'm tr I try to mirror, so you don't have to do that because like I said earlier, all of these papers coordinate, so everything matches. But I'm gonna mirror mine except for I'm gonna make my belly band go um, this way instead of vertically this time. So we're having matching papers, but just the belly bands are gonna be um, opposite, okay? So page three, we're on page three, which is a new um, page, a new piece of solid card stock. Again, the measurements are all the same for the pages, so I'm not gonna go through that anymore. Page three is going to be just another plain um, layout because our pocket, here's our pocket this time, the pocket is going to fold inside. I chose to do it that way. If you want the pocket to go this way, you can certainly do that. Um, except for if you're using a belly band, that's not going to work. Um, but you can decorate however you want and make your pockets go uh, either way whichever way you want okay but on this one for this tutorial I'm making my page three this um, saw or this way this style so your white mat is five and three eighths by five and three eighths and the pattern paper is five and a quarter by five and a quarter so basically you have the same dimensions um, as page two page two and three are exactly the same as far as your cutting Oops, and tip the glue over at least a few times while you're making something, right? It happens all the time. So I have that stuff for the next page. Just leave that there. I am going to just unfold that for a second and this so that I can see where I need to glue this down the right way so it doesn't... Um, hinder any of our folds. Okay, just again gluing this and you're just centering in between our score lines and top to bottom so that everything uh, looks center. 
and just gluing that down. Okay, and then again, your belly band, same dimensions, one and a half by six and three eighths, score at both ends, and miter. So let's do that, get, our, get that folded. Folded and burnished. And now I'm gonna glue the belly band this way, this time. Mm, getting tricky. Okay. And again, just glue on your tabs that you folded up, up, down, whatever you did. And then I'm gonna eyeball it. I want it centered like this. And it's gonna go right to the edge. Your folds are right to the edge of the white mat on your page. Okay, and as we get that squared up and straight and in the middle, glue it down. And then here's the mat for the belly band, which is the same as your first one. Just centering that on our band to make it look cute. And there we go. Okay. And the page actually looks like this. Page three. So your page two and three mirror each other like this. All right. So now page four is just flipping this over. This is page four. And now we have a pocket on our left-hand side. So here's what we're doing with page four. All we're doing is matting it again because we have a pocket. So we have, excuse me, we have a white mat that's four and one eighth by five and three eighths. Oops, can you see that? Four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then your pattern paper is four by five and a quarter. And then the mat for the pocket, I'll get, I'll, we'll do that next, okay? So here's our page mat. Again, this is a cut apart from the collection and then I just used some extra pieces that I had left. So now that our pocket is on the left-hand side, we're going, and I'm just moving this hinge out of my way so that I can, and probably the pocket too, because it's gonna go this way this time, and our pocket's gonna fold up like that, okay? So we'll glue this down. These four by four cut aparts um, in this collection are perfect for using as mats with this size of an album and this style of album. Um, the page style that we're making because these little two inch pockets um, every time I've made uh, you know the page mat with the cut apart the pocket never hinders anything on that cut apart like the little sayings and stuff so that's really neat I'm glad okay so again we're just putting this down sorry for the wiggly table sorry and if my hair is in the way or something. Okay, and now here's our pocket. I'm just gonna give this a little bit of a burnish since I was folding that back and forth. So first I'm just gluing this on the two sides. have some glue that's going to 
probably poke out a little bit, but that's okay because again, we're trying to get in between. And once you make this, you're gonna see what I mean. I gotta grab my paper towel. I'm trying to get that pat, um, that solid cardstock, you know, in that little crease there, without you know making marks with a fingernail or something. So we're just burnishing that down. Wiping off the excess glue, and then again, just I need to just give it a little pinch so that it catches, and your glue is gonna squirt out. It's okay, wipe it off, and then the side the same. Okay, and now here we're gonna just mat the pocket. So here's uh, the pocket mats again, they're all the same size. So you have the white mat at one and seven eighths by five and three eighths, and the pattern paper is one and three fourths by five and one fourth. Okay. What page are we on? Is this page four? See, I'm losing my mind. I'm losing it already. Okay. And again, the whatever um, little scraps you have works perfectly for doing these little quickie projects. Okay. And there we have it. A little glue there, no big deal. Okay. Yep, page four. So, now page five is going to be another sheet of your solid cardstock, or it's gonna be another um, new page. And this is how I decided to mirror pages four and five in the book. Okay, so the, both the pockets are the same, but the cut aparts are different, but I use the dots like that. Let me get this in here. Okay, so now um, we're done with, let's see, see, I always, I do this all the time because I wanna make sure I'm in the right order. Page one, page two, this is page three, this is page four. We just finished page four. Now we're gonna do page five. So again, page five, the mats are exactly the same. We just have the pocket on the right-hand side this time. So we have, let me take this off so we can see our little mat. The white mat at four and one eighth by five and three eighths and the pattern paper is four by five and a quarter. Okay, and because our pocket is on this side, on the right hand side, we're gluing our page mat to the left next to the hinge this time like so, like this, so it's gonna shut and look like that. Okay, just move those. Okay, so let's glue our mat. My glue's been cooperating this time. Last time I really struggled. I had, oh, it was running out and plugging up. I bet it's gonna clog up on me pretty soon because I've been leaving it. I haven't been putting my pin in it like a good girl. Okay, and again, just next to your hinge so as to, I don't like that. I don't like it. Move this up. Move this up. Okay, Ooh, see, look at, look what we're doing. You're, you caught me, you caught me. I just wanted this up a little bit farther on the page because it was down too far for my taste, for my liking. There. It happens. Okay, and then we have our pocket on the right. Gluing that down. 
Am I still in camera? I'm always looking. My camera is above my work area, so I'm looking here to make sure you guys can see. Oh, you can barely see that. We're just gluing the pocket down. Giving it a good burnish. And what else? Say it with me. Pinch. Pinch it. Pinch it closed. Just kidding. I hope you guys don't like leave my pay or leave my channel because of my corny things I say. <laughs> Stick with me. It's worth it. Okay, and then again the pocket mat is the same for all of them. The white mat is one and seven eighths by five and three eighths. I'm trying to get this in this so you can see it. Oh, what's happening? And then one and three fourths um, by five and a fourth by, for the pattern paper. There we go. That's for the pocket mat. Gluing that down. Okay, page five is finished. So we're flipping page five over, and that is going to be page six, which is. Ooh, look at all these. I changed it up on you. Okay, mm hmm. Page six is going to have a flap and a pocket and a mat, and it's going to be super easy. Don't worry. Okay, so I've listed these out, and I have, you know, my instructions aren't in order. I'm sorry, but for step one, we're going to make the flap and attach the flap to our page, okay? So let's start with that and let's move everything we don't need at the moment out of our way. So this is page six. It's just a plain, I'm sorry, a plain, um, no pocket, just a flat page, okay? And it's going to have a flap at the top edge of your page right here. So let's make the flap, which is a piece of solid cardstock that measures four and a quarter by four. And on the, I'm sorry, see, I caught it, I caught myself. It measures five and a quarter by four. I thought I said the wrong thing. Five and a quarter by four. And then we're gonna score it at a half an inch on the four inch side, which when I say that, I put my flap in my scoreboard sideways like this way, because this is the four inch side. Score at a half an inch. Okay, and then I mitered the corners here. Okay, if you have any questions, you can always comment in, uh, leave me a comment, because like I said, sometimes I say things wrong and I don't realize it until after. So let's just fold on that score line to make our flap. And we want to attach our flap first before we put our page mat down so that it hides, you know, your little flap uh, half inch piece here, just like the front cover, okay? So that's going to attach like this, and I'm going to pick this up, and hopefully you're going to be able to see what I'm doing. So here's your hinge on the right-hand side, and do you see I have a little bit of a gap here? On the on the right and I have a little bit of a gap on the left and I've I did this on purpose because I don't want this flap to hinder my hinge when I am attaching it to my spine and then also when you're moving the page okay so we're going to 
attach this flap to the top of the page flush and then we're leaving and we're then we're going to center it so you're leave leaving it's what and look it's a tiny like an eighth of an inch in between your two edges here oh, okay i'm trying to get this so you can see there we are okay so it's just a little bit so you'll be able to see that if you're making this the exact same way you'll be able to see that so i am opening up this hinge so i can use it as a guide and you know if you want to turn your paper and glue like this go ahead um, i'm going to try it this way making sure that i'm going the right way okay so I'm going to just bring this so that I can see and you'll be able to see what I'm doing still at the top of my page. I am adding this flap right to the top and then leaving that little bit of a gap between the edge and the hinge. The, the edge of your page on the left and the hinge on the right. And so just to pick that up and there we go. Just burnish that down and then here's your flap. So that's step one of page six. Okay, the flap. Now let's mat that flap since we're doing just that. Okay, so we're going to cut our white mat for the front at three and three eighths by five and one eighth and cut two of those because you're gonna need one for, I may, I just used a plain white photo mat for the inside of the flap. If you wanna put a different piece of paper, um, pattern paper in here, um, that's totally fine. But if you're doing it this way, I just made two white mats at three and three eighths by five and one eighth, okay? And then the pattern paper for the um, outside of your flap is three and a quarter by five, okay? So that's our mat for the flap. Let's get that glued down. I'm gonna be fancy and open this up, making sure if you have a directional, this really doesn't matter. These um, diaper pins are going every which way, but I want it this way, because that's what looks right to me. And gluing. Really took a long time looking at that, didn't I? Sorry. Okay. Now, this flap does not have a magnet. And I'll tell you why. Uh, I've made it so that the flap and the pocket are going to work together. Okay. Step two of page six. We're going to go right here. Oh, hang on. Hold, please. Let's put that other mat on that we cut for the inside of the flap. Since we don't have magnets, we don't have to worry about adding those. So we can add this um, plain mat if that's what you're doing. And so I am, because this is plain paper from my stash, I am just, and I'm using it as a photo mat, and I don't want all those glue squiggles underneath. Just glue um, on the all four outside edges. Okay. 
just like that. Excuse my reach on my arm in the way. Have a little glue. And then you're just going to push the, press that down. And there's your little mat. Photo mat, journaling spot, whatever you'd like. Okay, now that part's done. Let's go to step two of page six. So don't look at this. I'm going to cover this up so you can't see it. Okay, so we're just matting the inside of the page right now. Right now, did you see that under the paper? You didn't see through that? You don't have magic? Okay, this is what I'm talking about. We're matting this. And we need a white mat that measures four by five and three eighths. And pattern paper at three and seven eighths by five and a quarter, okay? Which I've already done. Here it is, and it's just going to glue in here like this. Now, what's gonna happen, you're gonna say, oh, well, these two, this is gonna poke out a little bit. That's okay. It's okay. It looks totally fine. From where I'm standing, it looks totally fine, okay? If you don't like that, you could trim your mat to be the same size as your flap, but I don't see the reason for that. So I'm doing it this way. So we're just gonna glue it down. And I, like I said, I made that flap so that it's gonna work better when the book is closed and you're flipping through pages. So this is just going at the top. Come on now, cooperate. Does your paper listen to you when you talk to it like mine does? <laughs> Don't we wish. And a little smear. Okay, and now here we have our flap and our mat. Now, I just made a pocket out of a plain white mat and some pattern paper. There's no gusseted pocket on here. So step three of page six is the pocket. So I made a white mat that's one and three-fourths by five and seven-sixteenths. And you know why? because it's going to, I'm gonna open this up, I don't want it to hinder my hinge, okay? When we put this in our book, I want this to be um, over that way, just a little bit, okay? So the hinge isn't getting in the way, or the pocket isn't getting in the way of the hinge. And so it's just gonna look like that, okay? It's cute, it'll work. So all we have to do is glue this down on three sides. If your paper is directional, make sure you're uh, gluing it the right way because this is our pocket. Okay, so am I in camera for you? Yep. I'm going closer to the left edge than the right and then just just about to the bottom of the page. Okay, and I just wanna stick that down like that. Oh, I forgot to mention, which I do mention in my other um, tutorial, um, this L hinge method I learned from Michelle Allen at a creative operation. That's her YouTube channel, and she is one talented lady. She is so creative. Um, so I thank her for this. She, I do mine a little bit different, which you can't really. She makes another little, um, Oh, what does she call it? An extra quarter of an inch on her so you have a little more play. I always forget to do that, so I don't. 
I haven't. I just done it. I've done it this way, and it's working for these. You know, I'm not adding a ton of stuff in here. Okay, so here's our page six completed. Now you're saying, oh, your flap, it's not going to stay. Well, it is too. Do you know why? Because I'm going to put a cut apart in here as a photo mat. And of course, this isn't the right size, but that little cut apart is going to go in that pocket and it's going to hold this down, this flap down, which I was going to do that before I started the tutorial and I forgot my apologies. Actually, do you see in my notes? Add cut apart in pocket. Ta-da! Okay, page six is finished. Page seven is another piece of solid cardstock for your page. Okay. And we are making page seven a mirror image of page six. So everything is going to be the same. Okay, so let's just, I'm going to show you what, because you're starting out with a fresh um, page, you know, that you made. And you have that pocket piece, but now your pocket piece, see, is going to fold under so that you have this um, just one plain surface to work with so that we can add our flap and our pocket just like this page here so they mirror okay if that's how you want to do it um, that's what I'm doing so page seven here we are with our flap five and a quarter by four and again on the four inch side score at a half an inch Again, these directions are exactly the same for page six and page seven. So let's get that going. I am, this is for our other side. So I'm gonna move that out of here. And I'm gonna get my hinge out of the way and I'm gonna open my pocket this time because remember we want to center from left to right um, our flap so that it doesn't hinder, okay? So we're gluing our flap. Remember the flap is step one. So now our hinge is on the left-hand side and our edge of our page is at the right-hand side this time. So just centering in between and gluing that down. Okay, and then we're gonna mat the flap. You can also, I never said, you could round your corners if you wanted to um, on your mat or your flaps if you want. So here's my mat for the outside, which is the exact same thing as um, the page six that we just completed. So I'm just gonna glue this down. Hopefully not making too big of a mess with my glue. Let me just get that here. And I'm gonna just do it this way this time, leaving it shut on the page. Sorry if my head was in the camera. Sometimes I can feel it when I bump the camera with my head. Ooh, that was messy. Wipe that off. And there we have it. And then the inside white mat. Again, just the edges. So we don't have those squiggly glue marks on our photo mat. And 
just adding that like so. Okay, that's step one. Step two is your page mat, which is this, which is the exact same thing as we just did. Just gluing that in between those two score marks. Like that. And then step three is the pocket with just um, the white mat and the pattern paper, which is this. And it's gonna go like that. Again, on our hinge side, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna, this is our hinge now on the left. So I'm gonna get this pocket closer to this edge so that the, you know, again, when we fold and turn, we don't have that obstruction there. So again, your pocket only glue on three sides. So I can see. Can you see? Yes, you can. So I'm getting that just right to the bottom of the page and then over more towards uh, the edge of the page and not the hinge. And actually, it works to line your whites, your white papers up, and that looks just fine. Okay, and there we go. And then again, you're gonna put a cut apart in here. Like I said, I forgot to bring it. And that's gonna hold your flap shut, okay? That is page seven, which looks like this because your pocket is gonna be folded underneath for page eight. Okay, so page seven, page eight. Looks like this. And it's easy, just like the other ones. All it is is a pocket and a mat. So all of our dimensions are the same like we did before with the pocket pages. You need a white mat that's four and one eighth by five and three eighths. And the pattern paper is four by five and a quarter. And this one, because our pocket is on the left, we're gonna glue towards the right, like so. Not interfering with our hinge, and then that's gonna be your page with the pocket. So, I'm gonna glue that down. Are we over an hour? We are, I'm sorry, I try not to. I try not to make these so long, but how can you, how can you do it faster when you're teaching and demonstrating and gluing? That's why, blame it on the glue. Okay, so, burnish that. And then our pocket is gonna fold over and we're gonna glue that down. Do you, this, is this easy, you guys? Like this page style is super simple, but yet it's, it's so cute. Like, you know, you can put little embellishments on your pockets. I mean, you could do so many things with the decorating aspect that you know nobody actually realizes that how simple this is you can make it look as fancy as you want 
I'm just showing you easy ways to make things that's still super cute. Okay, again, just pinch in those pockets because we got to get that glue in between those papers. Okay, and then here's the pocket mat, just like before. The white mat is one and seven eighths by five and three eighths, and the pattern paper is one and three fourths by five and a quarter. Gluing these down. Like that. Okay, page eight, finished. Ta-da! So guess what, guys? All of our pages are done. Now, we have the back cover, and that's it. And that is super easy, too, because I made it the same way as I made um, the back inside back cover of my first album tutorial, the other baby boy album. So we're gonna do the same thing to keep it simple. And I have my um, dimensions here for you. So the back cover, I choose to cover the entire back because of what I have, what I'm going to be putting down here. So the white mat is five and seven eighths by five and seven eighths. The pattern paper is five and three quarters by five and three quarters, okay? And then we're making a flap with a photo mat and we do need a magnet for this one, okay? So let's start with our flap and I'll show you what it's gonna look like. It's gonna go just like this towards the bottom. Here's your mat. We're only gonna glue it on three sides to make a pocket because I want this top part open for a tag, and I, which of course, what did I tell you? I didn't make it because I forgot. Um, I was in such a hurry to get this tutorial to you. So let's make the flap. The dimensions for your flap is a piece of solid cardstock that measures eight and a half by five and three quarter. And then you're just gonna score it in the middle at five, or I'm sorry, score it in the middle at four and a quarter, okay? So, and then just fold and burnish. Now, it doesn't matter how you do this. You can glue your flap down first um, before you decorate it, or you can just decorate it and then glue it down. But I'm gonna decorate mine first. So the white mat for the outside of the flap measures five and five eighths by four and one eighth. And I also cut, so three of these total, three white mats, because I'm going to mat the inside of the um, flap um, with white paper for photo mats, okay? So you can do the cover because in the inside, here's the little X. Do you see X there? Yeah, that means put a magnet down. Okay, I used one of the cut aparts. This is, I love this cut apart. I love using it in um, the albums because you can, it's a cute little place to write things. So we're just gluing. Like so. Sorry if I'm in the way again. Just like that. Glue here. And then 
Let's add our magnets. Taking the backing off, that's what all the silence is. Trying to get the backing off of my magnet. Does anyone else feel my pain? Tell me, do you? Ugh, and you know, I've watched people try to use that little pokey tool. Sometimes they struggle just as much. So I'm like that, oh, do I need the pokey tool? I don't know. So the magnet's just gonna go, again, not to, we need enough room so that your paper, your mat is gonna um, lay down nicely on your flap. So I'm just kind of putting that right there. And taking that off and then just close this naturally and just press your magnet down. And there we go. So let's just add our photo mats, the white photo mats. If you wanna use pattern paper, you can certainly do that. I'm just using the white. Just gluing on the four edges so we don't have those squiggly glue marks. Oh, and again, I would have, um, if I would have brought my score tape, I would have um, put that down on top of my magnet, like I said before, but I forgot it. But it's okay. It's okay. It will work. It's gonna work. And the second one. That is so you can see. And There we are. Okay, there's your flap and the magnets. All is lovely. Okay, and then all we have to do now is glue this flap into the uh, inside of our back cover. And I'm going to, um, again, leave, not glue here at the top because I want that pocket. Oh, I'm so sorry. So sorry for that. That was a really big bump. So just gluing on the side, the bottom, and the other side. So we can make a pocket. And then going just about to almost all the way to the bottom of the cover, not quite. And just open this up so I can see that. And there we go. And just, oh, getting glue all over, burnishing this down. And there's your pocket up here. Cute little pocket. I have a tag, I'm gonna make a tag for that. So, okay, um, our pages are finished. They are cut and scored and folded and decorated. Our inside front covers are finished. So I'm going to stop here, and so there'll be a part two where I show you how to glue your pages inside of your spine. So I have to find 
um, the paper I'm going to put inside the spine to decorate that. And then I'll show you in part two how to glue those down. Um, and we'll see how that goes. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I know, like I said, sometimes I screw up when I'm talking and say the wrong thing. So let me know um, if I missed anything or said anything um, that didn't make sense. I'll try to answer you. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you would do so um, for more crafty projects, um, finishing this tutorial, which we're going to do, um, and other fun stuff. And thank you for watching.